Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over the three parts of your data exercise for this week. So the data exercise has three parts and each part you have a specific website to visit to get the information needed. For the first part, you are asked to go to the uh, U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics and to read the summary related to the employment situation. And if you read this summary, you should be able to find all the information or most of the information needed to answer the questions. Okay, so for example, uh, you're asked about the date that this report is uh, written or the summary is related to which month and which year, which is right in front of you. And you also have questions about the unemployment rate or the latest unemployment rate. And you have it right here, which is the 0.9% increase reaching to 4.4%. And this is the largest over the month increase since the year 1975, which is like, the, it's a huge increase. And of course, this is a consequence of what's going today with the coronavirus and its effects on the labor market. Um, you have all the details about the unemployment rate, okay? Uh, so you can read here and you can get all the information uh, needed. You have also some uh, information about the establishment survey. I want you to notice that some of the questions that you have on your data exercise are, um, their answers are right in front of you here. And some of the answers would require your knowledge about the chapters related to the unemployment, right? So, for example, who uh, loses from unemployment and who, uh, and what are the non-economic factors and why unemployment is an economic uh, problem. These, you might not directly find them here, but this would require your knowledge of the course materials, okay? Um, the second part is related to the inflation computed by the consumer price index and when you click on the site given to you on the data exercise part two you will reach this summary and you would be able also to read all the details that you need about um, the cpi and again what month and the year this was summarized so you have it in front of you and it is also, as you will see it here, the, the consequence of the current situation related to the coronavirus, how it is affecting um, different parts of the index, how it's affecting the food index, what people are doing, like going to the supermarket, like stocking up for food, uh, how this is reflected in the consumer price index, how the price of uh, gasoline, which has, uh, has fell over the last month, is also reflected here. So we have like a something that is pushing the index upwards coming from the food prices and something that pushing it downwards which is coming from the gasoline prices and of course we have other items or other components of this index that is affecting it so one of the things that we know is about the airlines fare so you have also its impact seen in the um in the index again similar to part one um most of the questions on the on the on part two you will find the answers here okay but some of the questions would require your knowledge of the course material related to the inflation so for example who loses from inflation who benefits from inflation these are things that would require um, your knowledge and also the very last question which is your reflection on what you have learned uh, from the exercise okay all right, so the last part, which is part three, related to the unemployment data. And this is divided by labor force groups and duration. And this is, you can find it from the economic report of the president. And you are asked to um, check the latest one. So the latest one that you have is the one which is right here. Okay, and then you are asked to go to table B27, which is related to the unemployment data. So when you go to uh, B27, you scroll down until you find B27, 
and you need to get you have the PDF you have the text you have the Excel and details and so on we need the data the data set itself okay so we need the Excel so when you click here you get the table and once you're done so the table is here okay and you have the name of the table right here which is the unemployment rate and the question is about uh, you need to create you need to of course to check this table and try to get the details of men 20 years um, women and both sexes 16 to 19 years of age so you have all the details right in front of you okay uh, what you are asked to do also is to present your results in one or more charts so you can like you use, use the line graph you can use the pie chart you can use the bar graph any other way like you prefer to represent your um, or, or you can kind of insert it inside your uh, report okay so for example let's say I let's say uh, we want actually like your question is about starting from the year 2000 so we don't need this part right so we don't need anything that is before 2000 we don't need anything that is after because this is the latest this is like more details related to the monthly uh, data set so we need from 2000 to the latest which is 2019 and suppose that I just need to focus on the civilian workers so you can just delete this part right and just clean here so that you can have a nice chart and you can use these two by highlighting them right go into charts and choose whatever you like right you can do like a, a bar graph let's say just like the simple one this would show you the movement of the civilian workers unemployment rate over the years you can also do whatever like you have different things here that you can choose you can actually do like a pie chart the pie chart is nice colorful but because the difference is not that huge so you can say much about looking at the pie chart but you have also so many different things that you can use right so it's up to you you can choose whatever uh, way or whatever chart uh, representation uh, that you can uh, choose in order to represent your results and then you can kind of take it from here and then copy it right and then paste it in your uh, report and then write analysis right under this um, uh, chart okay also you are asked to uh, talk about the educational attainment right so we have the data set that is again in this same table which is uh, b27 okay I, so b27 uh, again i actually have deleted all the other columns but you don't have to do that you can actually copy and paste it in another sheet and then play with it right so you can delete whatever you want and then you still have the original table so you have all the information right here so um, this is by educational attainment this is div dividing them uh, based on sex and age and this is by race uh, or ethnicity so you have like different ways of um, presenting the civilian unemployment rate over the years Again, we're just focusing on the year 2000 to present. So if we're talking about educational attainment, uh, so you have the educational attainment here for 25 years and over, and you have it based on different um, educational attainment levels, right? Again, we, don't, we actually don't need all this because we are just focusing like this analysis is just focusing on the year 2000 onwards and I didn't ask any question that is specific about the monthly data set so you don't have to worry about this part so you're just like you need to focus on this is actually like what you need to focus on and the second part of um, part three which is about the educational attainment right so you need to use the information in order to understand what is the unemployment rate based on uh, high school right 
diploma, high school graduate or no college, and then some college or associate degree, and then the bachelor degree. So you have everything here. Again, what you need to do is just, you can probably like delete everything before that because now we're focusing on this one. And, and then you can actually create a chart based on whatever you want to focus on in order to answer the question. So that's, uh, let's say uh, you want to create um, one or more chart for the different categories of each um, uh, the, uh, of each educational attainment, right? So you do it exactly like what we have done in the uh, previous case or the previous part. Okay, so let me know if you have any question and um, uh, you can ask me any question on the discussion forum and I'll be answering it within like 24 hours. All right, uh, stay safe everyone and let me know if you have any questions.